weather. I'm waiting for a friend. I just got off the train. I took an hour train in from where I live. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm here a couple hours early because the train schedule sucks um, on the weekends. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, it should be a fun day. Lots of good food and all of that. So I will check in later. But yeah, thanks. Pride. This is a really like policy nerdy thing, but the yeah. side of the Boston Public Library says yeah. the Commonwealth requires the education of the people for democracy and stuff again. I was just like, yes. Oh, yes, I didn't know I that. that. I love that. Wait, you can't turn. Oh, I hate this phone. Okay, that's stupid. But why? Okay, my mom wants to see why? the outfit and I think she's gonna disown me, but. Why? Are you are you are you too bi? Oh no, like I'm out to her. Like she knows. She oh yeah, I did see the text. super hot so we're just sort of hanging out now um, I had to get a train in a couple hours so 
We're enjoying the nice weather. We may hit up one of the block parties, but I've had such a good time. I'm so glad I came. Um, and I hope that um, you can go to a Pride event this month. Even if it's not a parade, even if it's just like a hangout party thing, I really encourage you to do it because it is so much fun. Like, I've had such a great day. Lots of necklaces and fun things thrown at me, and it's just been such a wonderful day. So, yeah. I'll be impression. I need to get better, but... Hello, women of Massachusetts! <laughs> She's not even facing the camera, Emma. There we go. Why should we vote for you? <laughs> I'm in this fight all the way for Massachusetts working families. She is, though. Vote for her. And I thought I was a native, but I'm not. But vote for me anyway. We should all vote for her. actually be able to hear this. I'm really hoping. Um, but it is the end of the day. I got back to Providence. Took the train home. And it's actually Providence Fest. So um, it's like a five day festival throughout Providence. And there's music and food and art. And people are dancing in the streets. And there are DJs everywhere. And it's just a really, really fun time. Um, I didn't do it this year. Um, I really want to go to Boston Pride. And I'm really glad I went. Um, next year I'll definitely be here for Providence Fest. And I'll probably do... I'll probably do more of it. Um, I just didn't want to this year. Uh, but I really, it's something I really love. But Pride was amazing. I had so much fun. I went with one of my sorority sisters, which was a really great experience. She's um, in town for the summer for an internship. And that's the city I'm moving to in a couple months so it was really great to experience it that way and it was so great to see it and you know have like a day of walking around to enjoy the city um because that's gonna be where I'm gonna be living you know I like I went by the Boston Public Library and I was like that's that's gonna be my library oh my god that beautiful incredible library is gonna be the library I go to and I'm just so thankful that everything's working out like that but yeah, I had such a great time. I hope that if you have, were able to go to your Pride that you had a lot of fun and if it's coming up that you're able to go and enjoy your time because it is such a wonderful experience. Festivals are fun in general, but I feel like at Pride everyone is genuinely happy. Like everyone has a smile on their face. Everyone's laughing. Everyone's hugging each other and it's just such a great moment. Such a great time share with people. So that's it. I will see you guys next week. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that way you can see more content from the other strangers. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye strangers.